their headquarters in Annapolis, and uh, we're going to go back to Brown. The outpouring of support and love and encouragement is just tremendous. And on behalf of uh, my wife Carmen and our family, I know I speak on behalf of uh, Ken and Jackie and their family and the entire Brown Omen Brigade, thank you very much for who you are and what you do. Eighteen months ago, we came together to launch this campaign, talking to our friends and neighbors about our shared values uh, and goals, standing up for working families, strengthening our middle class, and creating jobs and opportunities for more Marylanders. Tonight, uh, we fell short of our campaign goal, but it does not and it cannot diminish the work that each and every one of you have done in our communities throughout our state. So thank you. Thank you for knocking on doors, making phone calls, and helping us spread our message. And I'm so grateful for all uh, that each and every one of you have done. I'd also like to thank Ken and Jackie Ullman, a great couple. great couple and family, and Ken is certainly one of the smartest and most capable public servants I've ever met. Uh, he's been a great running mate. He's been a great running mate, and he has a very bright future ahead of him. Tonight this campaign ends, uh, but our journey as a people uh, and a state continues. I'd like to congratulate Larry Hogan and his family and his team on tonight's victory. This was a tough campaign, but it was tough because there's a lot at stake and a lot worth fighting for. I know that governing is difficult, demanding work. Uh, Larry and his team have a tough road ahead of them, uh, and I wish them the very best as they travel that road. But I also have a promise for all of you that the things that we fought for on this campaign will not be ignored. We will continue to stand up and speak out for working families across this state as we strengthen the middle class and create more jobs and opportunities for more Marylanders. Tonight, we fell short of our goal, but I'm proud to stand here before you tonight because I know that is a testament uh, to my family uh, and my family's story. My father, a young man who came to this country out of poverty in Jamaica, determined to become a doctor and give back to others. My mother, a young nurse from the foothills of the Swiss Alps, who shared my father's dream of building a better life for their children in this country. They taught me the lesson of service, and it's the reason why I spent 30 years on active and reserve duty in the Army, and it's the reason uh, that I ran for office. <laughs> Dedicated to giving back to a state and a country that have given me and my family so much. As I look out uh, at each of 
every one of you. I know I'll never forget the love, the support, and the encouragement from the people on this stage, all outstanding friends and public servants. And to each and every one of you here this evening, my parents, my beautiful wife, Carmen, who inspires me every day. Carmen inspires me every day with her courage, her intelligence, her warmth, and her love. My three children, Rebecca, Jonathan, and Anthony, who support, who support and encourage me, giving me the strength to fight the toughest battles. Ken Ullman and his wife Jackie again, and their daughters Lily and Maddie. What a wonderful family. And I also want to thank, once again, the public servants who are standing behind me, federal, uh, local, state uh, officials who get up each and every day and do the difficult work that we do because they love each and every one of you in this state of Maryland. And last, but certainly not least, I want to thank the many Brown Omen staff volunteers, and interns who have risen to meet every challenge on this campaign. And I want to thank their families who supported them through this long, tough days of this campaign. Friends, thank you for taking this journey with me. Thank you for taking it together, and may God continue to bless you, your families, and the great state of Maryland. God bless each and every one of you.